Zer is on Watcher's Grave on Nessus. He's currently selling the Season of the Undying seasonal armor, not the seasonal ornament, the seasonal armor, the playlist armor, essentially. This is really good stat wise. The Hunter's armor set's not looking that good aside from the chest piece. Uh, if you bump up the resilience, that's a 22 on resilience, 18 on recovery and intellect would be 19. That's pretty good, especially if you're doing the solar 3.0. Uh, but other than that, I'm not the biggest fan of pretty much a lot of this armor set stat wise, but look wise, uh, the only piece that actually does change color in its totality will be the helmet. And what I mean by that is like, let's say for the example, the boots on the hunter, as you guys can see, there's a lot of grass, uh, moss and stuff like that. If you try to change the color of it, you guys will notice that the moss actually just stays there. So unless you're going for an overgrown look, I would suggest probably to still get this armor because you might never know. We might get more overgrown armor sets later in the future, but specifically the helmets i think this accounts for every class all of the helmets do change color so there is no moss you don't have to worry about that this helmet is also a really good helmet if you want to have a cloakless helmet uh hunter because specifically the ornament for this is uh is this so it's damn near close to it it's just that you're missing the eyes that's really it uh as for the warlock, <clears throat> as for the Titan, the Titans also have really cool armor set as well. Again, the same thing with the, as the hunter, you're gonna be having the helmet be the only thing that actually changes color and has no, no moss on it. Uh, the helmet for me, I'm not the biggest fan of, mostly because of this weird plate in the middle or right in the face. I'm not a big fan of it, but if you are, I mean, go have, have at it, man. This helmet is pretty cool. It's just that I probably would never combine it with anything um but yeah there is there's no moss at all so the, the helmet is free grabs everything else again like i said you're gonna have the moss but again if you're going for an overgrown look it's gonna be really cool you just have to be aware that the moss doesn't change color that goes for the leaves as well as for the stat rolls uh aside from maybe the plate 24 resilience is really good recovery is a bit too low on my from my taste but if you, if, if, I don't know, this could be a really good one for resilience and strength. Uh, for the helmet, intellect at 25, that's wild. Mobility is a little too high for my taste though. And then the greaves are probably pretty good as well. 25 strength is nice, uh, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm usually never really the biggest fan of Zer armor because it never really usually get, gives us good stuff. Next up is the Warlocks and then I'll give you my final thoughts. For the Warlocks, again, the one of the best pieces from this whole armor set, Hunter, Titan, Warlock, everyone, I think the Warlock got the best helmet. It is probably the coolest one in my opinion, so you definitely should scoop at least this one up. If you're not thinking about getting any other piece, the Warlock definitely deserves the helmet. It looks so good. And even the ornaments, not even that far off from this look, basically, which is just added, like, just this up here is just added other than that you're basically getting the ornament um again like i said i'm gonna reiterate it just uh overgrown stuff cannot be shaderable but again if you're going for an overgrown look the warlock is probably gonna be the best one since a lot of it is overgrown uh stat wise we're looking at substitutional alloy glass as for stats we're looking at Recovery and discipline at 19 and 16, which is okay. Uh, too, too high mobility, I'm not even gonna look at it. Uh, the hood is actually pretty decent. And then the boots are also pretty decent with the hood probably being the best one. As for armor pieces, we're looking at Oathkeeper for the Hunters, uh, Ashen Wake for the Titans, and Astrocyte Verse for the Warlocks, which uh, that this role is pretty good. Oh um titans if you don't have ashen wake if you don't have any of these exotics uh just get them you might never know when you might need it but Ashen Wake specifically because with the new solar 3.0 it's actually pretty fucking crazy uh, i will be making a video on that but other than that that's pretty much your your video guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below dead man's tail with vorpal definitely pick it up that's a really good role i know because i have that role but yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys later